Are we going to get any more Mariners? Are we going to get lucky? Are we going to dupe yet another Mariner that we have? What kind of crazy stuff is going to happen here? Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 24 video. We're on our Mariners team today, and there have been a few new changes in the lineup, one in the starting rotation, and one in my batting order. But we have a good amount of sig packs. There's a new special shop out. We're going to go over that in this video. So first off, let me show you guys what's new with the cards that I have. First off, this Nelson Cruz 2015 Prime, who we grade increased in our last Mariners video. I was able to land Slugger Instinct, Strength in the Strength, and Charisma. I believe this was only a 1-1-2 or maybe a 2-1-3 skill set. Uh, it was very low levels, but it's going pretty well right now. His train is still the same. I'm still working on special training JP Crawford. We should be able to get him done in today's video. And then Hasashi Iwakuma, whom we also took to Black Diamond, I believe, in the last video as well. He has this very balanced train. I have a couple trainers on him now. Still haven't started special training him yet, but we did land this legend skill set with Slow Starter and Ace. It was a 3-1-1 set or a 3-2-1 set, so not high levels at all either. But since, it is, since this is a free-to-play team, I'm going to work with it. We still have our Team Sig bullpen arms that are waiting to be great increased but as you guys know right now there is a special shop going on and i'm just going to go over the items in the shop i'm very pleased with what is in the shop and what will be coming in the next special shop next week i already purchased the special signature player pack right here uh, i love this sig player pack because it gives you an option between three cards instead of just one which is very good for free to play teams like this one there's also team selective prime player packs, team select diamond packs, ultimate player vintage packs, and then I usually always end up buying these league ball recharge tickets, but since I'm a little bit lower on stars on this team than most of my other teams, I won't be purchasing anything else. The team primes I looked at because I already have Iwakuma, I have JJ Puts, and now I have Cruz, uh, my chances of getting something good out of this team prime player pack aren't as high, so I don't want to risk 3,000 stars at the current moment with the amount that I have. And then for the ultimate vintage player pack, I would go for it on this team, but I don't have a great increase. And if I did end up getting a legend, it would just probably just rot on my bench. So uh, that's not going to happen in today's video. But we do have three regular SIG player packs, two remaining all-star player packs from the all-star hit event. This will be the last video I do all-star player packs in in probably a long time. And then we, of course, have the special SIG player pack, saving all of our prime player packs. We have four teams like Diamonds uh, with one of them, a fifth one being batter and pitcher select. So let's get straight into it here. Let's see if we can see any purple. In the last video that I just posted, I did pull a prime, but it wasn't on my team. It was on Ablos Angeles's team. Let's see if we can get some purple in today's video. It's been about four or five videos since the last prime that we saw out of a regular pack on any of our free to play or play pay to play teams, including my Red Sox team. So hoping for that luck to turn around here. If we get another team sig, I'm going to walk out of the room. I'm going to just throw my hands up, leave the stage, leave the leave the room, and it's going to be all over. We have pulled now, since our last Dodgers live stream, we've pulled 16 team SIGs in total this entire year, which is incredible. Let's do some special training on JP Crawford, though. All right, back to the premium player packs. We have 30 left. Let's see if we can get any diamonds. No diamonds still yet. Also, the new event that came out that's uh, like a hit, a dice event, I believe. Um, I've kind of finally figured it out. So there's like submissions and missions that you need to complete in between in order to level up as well as earn rewards. It would be very difficult for me to explain without showing it. So I'm just going to hope you guys understand and you guys have got the handles on it if you do have any questions about it leave it in the comment section i'll try to help you out here is our first diamond there's a jose bautista 13 would have liked to gotten his 15 in that video where if i had gotten him i would have bought the team select signature player pack but unfortunately that pack is now expired come to us took it off of the market let's do these premium vintage player packs here can we get lucky and get a legend possibly all right nope we get four silvers and we don't get any team cards also with those ultimate vintage player packs that are in the special shop right now there is a higher chance of getting a legend and i believe it's only maybe like th 
three percent two percent i don't i don't really know don't i don't i don't know for sure so don't quote me on it but i don't think it's much higher than it usually is no special team cards here that's a nice iwakuma although i don't need him for upgrades anymore let's do some more special training though All right, let's do it. Five more team selective player packs here. Can we see purple? Can we see diamond? All right, come on, purple, please. No, no purple. So these packs just don't want to give me primes anymore. I'm on a dry street, guys. It's just terrible right now. All right, three ultimates. We don't get any diamonds. Oh, wow. So the least amount of ultimate player packs that I open in the last three videos, and I get one diamond. And in the previous videos, I've gotten none. There's a Josh Hader 2020. Pretty solid card right there. I believe he has better years for the Brewers, though. Still a very uh, usable relief pitcher, if I do have to say so myself. All right, we're on to the diamond player packs. Four diamond player selectives. It's been a while since we've been on this team. There is a Mariner, but it's not a good one. Sean Haggerty. We're going to refresh and see if we can get a Prime or a Special card. And we don't. We got a couple Astros, though. Kyle Tucker, 23. McCutcheon, 14. Eovaldi, 23. I think I'm going to go with the Kyle Tucker there just because he's the best card. All right, we have three more shots at this. Let's see how many Primes we can get. Also, let me know in the comments section down below, guys, who was your last Diamond Prime that you got or the last Prime that you pulled in general? And if so, was it a team card? All right, again, more Astros here, but we don't, we're not looking for Astros. Let's refresh. Come on, Mariners or Special Cards? No Mariners again. A couple Tampa Bay Rays. Randy Rosarena, who is now currently a Mariner, but not the Mariner year that I need. His 2024 year would be better. I'm going to take him anyway because he is the best overall card there. All right, two more of these. Come on, we have to see at least one special vintage or a Mariner, please. More Tampa Bay cards. Uh, another Josh Hader, the same year, actually. That's a little bit interesting. And a good Kenley Jansen for the Dodgers. All right, refresh again. And again, again, no. Oh, okay, I hold my tongue there. We got Kyle Riley. We already have him though, so he can be used as BD material, which is somewhat useful. I'll take that right there. Not bad, not bad. So one for three on these. Can we go two for four? Two for four on Diamond Player Selectives. First draw is not good. And now let's do the second draw. Come on. And we do not get anything else good. So we were one for three on, or sorry, one for four on these packs. Uh, better than nothing, I guess, but let's take the Alec Bohm here since he is the greatest overall card. And now we are on to Team Selective Diamond Player Packs, four of them. Let's see if we can get a Legend. I I'd be so exasperated if we got Griffey. And no, we don't get any Orange Glow here. Can it be an upgrade or Black Diamond material out of these? We get Edwin Diaz's 18, which is his best closer year, but I already have him. We get an any uh, we get an any an Eugenio Suarez. Why was it so hard for me to say? I haven't gotten a lot of his cards, and he's still at level 14 out of 14, I believe, in my lineup, and he's my last batter, so finally another card to use for upgrades for him. Uh, but other than that, nothing too special out of those packs. Team Selective Batter Pitcher Diamond Pack. Let's go batter just because we have a chance of getting a legend, and my bullpen is pretty much full already. Can we get a legend here? Nope, no orange glow. All right, can it at least be above a 65 base? No, I don't think so. That's a 59 base Dylan Moore right there. Not good. I believe he has a 70 overall card for the Mariners, but that's not that one. Two all-star player packs here. Can we go out with a bang with these and get a team card for the very last time? Opening them all up. And no, we get a Paul Goldschmidt from 2017 and a Marcelo Zuna from 2016. All right, those will just be combo material or special training material. But here we are with more SIG player packs. We have technically six shots at a Mariner right here, and we have combos afterwards. Are we going to get any more Mariners? Are we going to get lucky? Are we going to dupe yet another Mariner that we have? What kind of crazy stuff is going to happen here? All right. First card, silver in the middle. A Giants Man Warning, or Man Warring, who is the only catcher card available for the Giants right now that Bust now that Buster Posey is out of the game. Not the greatest power hitter. Uh, good fielding, though, which is important for a catcher. Cool that we see a vintage on the first one. Let's do the gold on the left side here. It is a troll. It's an Evan Phillips Dodgers card. Would like to see this on my Dodgers team. Would have preferred to pull this out of that craft pack that we had rather than my dupe Kershaw. Nothing much I can do about that, though. And then on the far right side, we get a... <laughs> Thank you. 
17. 17 team SIGs this year. I've gotten this tie France before on my other teams, and that is a good year. It's not the greatest overall card per se, but it's a first base SIG. I'm pretty sure that's his only SIG for the Mariners. He hasn't been performing well ever since 2021. I'm going to take that any day of the week, and my goodness, my GI situation is in shambles right now. I need three grade increase tickets for this team. Oh, man. All right, and we still have the special SIG player pack, so we could pull another Mariner here, and we have combos. This is, this is insane. Again, yet again. Yet again, guys. Here we go. Special SIG player pack here. No diamonds, two golds, though. We'll start out with the silver on the far right. First card is a... Houston Astro, again, uh, Mauricio Dubon. I pulled an Astro on the Dodgers stream. This one isn't the greatest Astro, though, so not too bad. Uh, has a second base and an outfield option, though, which is pretty cool. Let's do the gold on the left side. We get a, another division rival, Grant Balfour, for the Oakland Athletics. So this is all AL West right here. Can the middle one be a... Uh, I hope it's not a Troll Rangers, but let's see right here. Who is this going to be? A Chicago Cub, Cody Bellinger right there, 71 base overall. All right, with that, we're going to take the Cody Bellinger. And even if we don't get one out of a combo or another Mariner, I should say, out of a combo, we are definitely developing that tie France. But let's do some combos right now. All right, here we are with combos. We have five SIGs total right now. So in pending another Mariner SIG, we're able to do three combos. Or sorry, two combos. What am I saying? I'm thinking a bit too much here. Let's do two golds, one silver first. Hopefully we can get a gold back or a diamond back and do another three gold or one diamond, two gold combo. First combo here with Phillips Billinger and Man, War Man Warring. Yes, Man Warring. Three, two, one... Another Astro. What is it up with the Astros in this video? My goodness. We keep getting Astros cards. That's a Lance McCullers 18. Uh, I actually, funny, funnily enough, I developed a Lance McCullers 18 for, uh, what was his name? Ablos Angeles in the last video for his new Astros team. And uh, he is actually, this card is actually the same base overall as the 2021 card that I developed. But it's a gold. We'll take that. Let's do one more combo. It's Josh Hader, 18, Lance McCullers, 2018, and Dylan Cease, 22. Can we get another Mariner here? Three, two, one. We get a New York Met, Marcus Stroman right there from 2021. 71 base overall card. Not a bad starting pitcher at all. But now, guys, you know what the deal is. We got a new team SIG. We're going on the development train. We're going to upgrade him, train him, and get him maxed out as fast as possible. So follow me along. Let's speed up this video and see how far we can get with him.
Oh my gosh. A hundred level reset tickets later, guys. Oh. If you guys didn't watch that entire sped up segment, I don't blame you. I'm so upset right now, but I'm still happy that we got a new team sig, but training, man, that, that has to be the longest training session that I've done in literally years. Usually you can get a good train within the first 30, but that took over a hundred. But we got 11 to the right side. And we're not going to finish him yet since he's not diamond. But I will throw him into the lineup in place of the regular diamond Ty France that I already have. And he'll drop the overall a little bit as you guys can see on the left. 110.6 now. But I want to keep him in the backup. Uh, actually in the lineup in, on the bench at least. So that once I get a great increase ticket I can take him to diamond. He's going to be taking the place of John Olerud. Olerud is a much better overall base wise. But... With the sig bonus ty france is definitely going to be a beast but that's going to be it for me today guys what a video what a turn of events again another team sig that is our 17th team sig this year on all of our teams across the board if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like down below hit share and subscribe feel free to check out the other mlb nine innings youtubers in my description box down below they make great content and i know you guys would enjoy that and they would appreciate your support and i also have my social media links in my description box down below to reddit instagram and discord feel free to follow me on any of those platforms and with all that said and done that's going to be it for me today guys it's late at night i need to go to sleep have a great rest of your guys day wherever you are god bless you all jesus loves you guys i'll catch you guys in the next video.